Hello, my niece. Um, just going over the template right quick. First, you'll need materials, water, notebook, pencil, laptop, coloring utensils. This is generally an everyday go-to's and you want to spend this time gathering materials so that you're getting ready for school um, and you're hydrated and you want to reduce distractions as far as scrambling for materials. Um, SEL, how is your day going? You could do thumbs up, thumbs down, or medium, kind of like this, and then tell me about it. What we're looking for here are complete sentences. Today was good because dot dot dot. I'm not feeling well today because my tummy hurts and um, that kind of thing. Word of the day will always begin with the letter of the week, so this will go in 26 uh, point cycles for the 26 letters of the alphabet. So this is the first week, this is week A. Uh, Monday, I already forgot because I'm not on that screen um, what the word is, but um, I believe it is ant. I'm sorry, let me just look here. Um, Monday will be ape. And so I'll go into physical activity in a second, but that is, um, check-in. Also, you want to get a notebook that doesn't have lines in it. And the reason for that is at the beginning of each day of school, John Michael will write his name at the top of this blank page notebook. When he checks out for the day, he'll sign out at the bottom of the page. The middle of the page will be for whatever drawing activities or for literacy when he's spelling um, when he's spelling the word out. And I know I'm skipping around, but also for the word of the day, you want to sound it out, give the definition. Your own words is better than a dictionary because a dictionary is too boring <laughs> at four years old, unless you get a children's dictionary, which I strongly encourage. But you want the definition, you want to sound it out, and you're having him repeat all of this, and then you're going to have him write out the word letter by letter.